hi guys welcome to today's class we'll be making the sleeve and to make that we need our organza our tape okay this black fabric is our organza so i've gone ahead to cut this organza fabric i cut a very long strip you can see it's very long okay this is about four yards of fabric okay so what i did was that i i cut this one okay and i also cut another one so this one now i'm going to measure it for you to see the length okay this is just about four years i'm just measuring it so we can confirm okay so this is it you can see uh, it's about four yards okay and i went ahead and cut it length four yards and the width okay the width you can see the width is 18 inches all right so because it's 18 inches i'll be folding it into two so that will give us nine inches okay yes that's why i cut 18 inches long and then i will sew it at that edge to the end then the other one i couldn't get a long strip so i had to cut it in bits I will join them up to get that four yards as well but it's not the same width okay it's the same length four yards but the width is not the same okay this one is 14 inches and when I fold it into two it's going to give me seven inches and I'll sew it all the way but that will be after I have joined all my little little bits I have to form the four yards okay so that's just it then i'll fold it up and sew all so i've gone ahead to fold it up and sew it for all the pieces okay for the two pieces for the two strips that we have okay i'm just showing you this is one strip okay this one strip and this is another strip that we have here okay so you can just see it I'll go ahead and trim off so after joining what you need to do is trim off excesses and also when joining don't forget to leave a small hole for turning okay see this hole I left is for turning that's because I stitched up all the ends and I will show you what and the reason why I did that I will still be cutting open that ends at the end still but for now just follow the process so I'm going to do what trim off all the excesses so it won't be bulky do this for the two strips that we have okay i'm done with the other the lot the wider one this is the smaller one you can see the joining i made okay those joining i made to form the four yards okay very neat i also trimmed it okay and i also go ahead and trim this edge and of course i left the hole too for turning it that's because i sewed up the edges and this is so that i will have a very neat uh edges at the end but i will still cut it open so guys thank you for being with me all this while thank you for your likes your subscriptions your comments i appreciate it so much please don't forget to subscribe 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 and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i post You'll be able to get notification for all my posts i have a lot in stock for you okay so i'm just going to go ahead and flip it so you can see this is why i stitched up the edges so i can flip it okay and then i flip it out from that little hole that i made okay that's just basically it but at the end i'll cut it out i'll still cut open that edge you can see i'm pushing it out so it will be neat so that we need to have a neat edge at that tip okay but we'll still cut it open because we don't need it that way right okay so like i said subscribe to my video thanks so i'm gonna have to flip the other one as well okay i'm pushing out the edge so that it will be neat so that when we trim it off it will come out neat so this is just what it looks like just what it looks like you can see it okay this is the hole now that little hole we left for turning it out we are going to stitch it up what the way I'm, I'm folding it in okay see how i folded it in so i'll just sew on top i'll do it for the other one as well 
and I'll show you. Okay, so I've gone ahead to close that edge. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, and that edge you can see now I've cut it off. Okay, I've cut it off. It's now open. I did it for all the four edges that I have. You can see now I've gone ahead to cut it open back. I told you the reason why we stitched it closed was so we can flip it neatly. Okay, so that's it. And then I've gone ahead to cut it off at the end. That was because we didn't really need that part closed at that point. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and iron and to iron you place your fabric this way you see that part you joined you place it at the middle just watch how i'm folding it up now it's going to be at the middle because we don't need to the joint lines to show all right so go ahead and iron i'm just ironing it i'm showing you the process so you can see how to do it exactly i i made the joining part to be at the middle okay so just go ahead and give it a good press all along a good 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 press because at this point we need something looking very neat so that edge now is going to come out looking rough this way don't be scared we'll trim it off and make sure it is straight okay so just go ahead now and trim it off to align it to make sure it is straight so guys organza is a very tricky fabric so when working with it you need to be very careful I don't recommend it for a beginner but if you need to make this sleeve you definitely need your guns you can as well use a satin fabric yes and you get a very beautiful sleeve as well don't forget to like share subscribe my videos I really appreciate it guys I'll do the same thing on the other strip so I've gone ahead to iron everything this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like Trust me guys, <laughs> this video you're going to love it. So this is it, the edges. So those edges now we're going to close it and to close it, this is what I'm doing. Just fold it twice and stitch on top. Do it for all the four edges and iron it as well, okay? Very important, do it for all the edges, okay? Now, I've gone ahead to do that i'm just showing you what it looks like and i ironed it flat as well okay so it's looking neat now we need that part neat okay so it's all looking neat you can also choose to do another way of finishing at that edge it's all up to you okay it's all up to you just be creative just be creative it's all perfect all right so what we are going to do now is i picked the long strip and that part that has joining i'll face it down this way okay i'm just shifting my camera so you can see clearly the part that has journey i faced it down then i picked the smaller one the part that has joined it is the part that has joining okay i'll face it down as well then i'll make sure that the two edges are meeting you can see we still have we have allowances at the edge at the two sides that's because the other one is smaller and that's to help give the effect that we want okay in the vid in the picture you see that there is one sh one shorter than the other okay that's to give us that beautiful look that we want so i'll go ahead and pin at that middle because that's where we are going to be running our stitches on okay so go ahead and pin your security pins all across okay i've gone ahead to secure your pins all across okay all across and this is just what i have okay this is just what i have now i went ahead to make pleats okay look at it after pinning i make a, i went ahead to make my pleats so this is what my pleats look like okay this is it this is what my pleats. to make a pleat is just this way pick the two fabric fold it into two and pin it it's as simple as that that's how i made all my pleats okay and the pleats i made i made it to the round shoulder of my client okay this is the round shoulder i'm just measuring across measuring it to be sure it's accurate okay yes it's exactly my client's round shoulder measurement i'm actually making this dress for a bride okay for her recept for her photo shoot pre-wedding photo shoot 
okay so i'll go ahead and run a stitch across at that middle okay so this is what it looks like okay you can see what it looks like yes neat i stitched at the middle okay so that's it now i'm going to be attaching it to my bride's dress okay this is actually a finished dress i've already made it was just remaining to attach my ruffles and i thought of to make it this video perhaps it will be helpful to someone so this is my zipper allowance at the two sides okay these are my zipper allowances so when placing this ruffle i'll place it away from my zipper allowance so that i can add my zip allowance okay and it will not affect my zipper allowance and I, my zip when i want to fix it i'll fix it all across this way to the end avoiding my zip allowance okay so i'll go ahead and pin it up before stitching it just watch how i'm pinning it you can see i didn't pin it starting from my zip allowance i moved away from my zip allowance so i'm just pinning it i'm just securing it with pins ensuring that it's just at the edge of the dress okay that's just what i'm doing so go ahead and do yours like this attach it to whatever you want to attach it to a blouse a dress a top it's all up to you so just attach it to the tip you can see what it looks like so go ahead and do that all across okay so i've gone ahead to do that all right and i've gone ahead to sew it as well and this is what it looks like okay you can see i've secured it i've stitched it up this is just what it looks like it's steady now you can see it all right our sleeve is almost ready guys <laughs> so you can go ahead and open this way it won't have much effect because the pleats will still fall back but you can decide to do it just to give it a little more fluffy effect but it won't give much effect okay the best thing to do is to actually pack this way pick that small one pick it pick the two sides of the small one and tack the middle strategically at different points okay that's just the best way to do it apart from that spreading apart because it still falls back so just pick these two small ones and stack strategically okay that's what i will do all over i'm just pinning it i'll still later go ahead and you can use your needle and thread you can use your machine just little stitch lines are okay little stitch lines that won't be obvious that much all right so i'll do it all across and then i'll show you what my sleeve looks like guys our sleeve is just about ready thank you for staying with me to the end of this class guys i love you all for the subscriptions the love the reactions the thing the comments the likes the shares i appreciate it so much please leave me a like a thumbs up at the end of this class please subscribe to my video please click to the click on the notification bell so you can be seeing my videos anytime i post okay guys I'll go ahead and tack strategically you can see i'm using pins to secure the later i will tack with my hand needle or my machine and this is the finished look guys don't you just love this this is my bride's dress thank you for staying with me see you next time bye